And Marie, tell us a little bit about the things that you reveal in your book for the first time about the meeting uh, in 2017 between the Ukrainian president and the new president, Donald Trump. Yeah, so that was um, a very interesting meeting, um, partly just because until we walked into the Oval Office, uh, we didn't know whether there was actually even going to be a meeting with um, President Trump. Uh, there had been a prior meeting with like, the vice president, uh, and then we were placed in a holding room and we didn't know what was going to ha happen next. And believe me, that is a really uncomfortable place for, you know, the head of a country, a president uh, to be in. And let me just tell you, as the U.S. ambassador sitting in that room with him, it was uncomfortable for me as well. Uh, and then we were brought towards the Oval Office. We knew there was going to be a photo opportunity, uh, but we didn't know whether there was going to be a meeting. So they brought us into the Oval, and um, when uh, the photographers left the room, I was waiting to see what was going to happen. And fortunately, then there was a meeting, and uh, the two presidents discussed a number of issues, including the war and uh, in, in the east of Ukraine. And the thing that really stands out to me the most is that um, President Trump turned to his national security advisor and asked whether we have U.S. troops out there. Uh, and I found that like everybody kept their game face on because you can imagine that the Ukrainians would have loved to have U.S. troops <laughs> out in the, the east in the Donbass uh, fighting uh, for, for, for Ukraine. Um, but everybody, you know, kind of kept their composure and it was explained that no, there was, um, while we had training troops in the west, in Yavoriv, at that base that was just attacked a couple of days ago, but no, we didn't have American soldiers fighting in the east. And to me, that was kind of a telling moment that, and I wasn't sure what it indicated. Did President Trump not know? That the that Russians had invaded the East and the Ukrainians were fighting the Russians, um, which would have made that meant that we would be fighting the Russians if we were there, um, or did it mean that he just didn't know where his troops were? I didn't know which was worse. <laughs>